First of all, I have to say that there are still thousands of girls, I know it's been a long time, who have Anna Green Gables marathons well, all weekend. Well, and my grandkids love it. I, th I was just delighted to get to do it. It's, it's good. So it's just wonderful to see that you're, that you're, see you on the big screen again. How did you get involved with this movie? Well, uh, David Lynch uh, saw me do something and he thought I was about right for this whole character. And we got together and after I read part of the script, I knew I wanted to do it. Did you have any uh, trepidation given that all the different sorts of movies that David Lynch has done before? I only saw The Elephant Man and I don't know about the rest, but he's treated me good. He's the best director I ever worked for and I've worked for a lot of them. That's, that's no baloney. And how, is, and how is the shoot for you, uh, riding along all your... <laughs> it got a little tedious. We put a lot of miles in, but uh, when we got the finished product, it was worth it. It really was, you know, and it's, I'm just tickled to death I got to do it. Do you miss riding on that thing now? No, I've got one of my own at the ranch. I ride on it quite a bit. What is your role in the, in the film? I play the brother of Richard that you've already interviewed, right? Yeah. And how is that working with Great. him? Have Great. You, uh, been in, have you been uh, interacting with David Lynch before? Sure. I did, uh, hey, that's Kim. Hi, Hi Kim. Great to see you. Hey. Well, <laughs> a lot of friends here. A little interlude. Where were we? We were talking about David Lynch. How is he to work with? Oh, he's great. He's one of the best directors I've ever worked with. It's fun to work with. He's a great man, a nice guy, and a great humanitarian. Does it surprise you that he's he's done such a, a 180 into this G-rated territory? No, not with him. I'm never surprised at what he does. Elephant Man was not G-rated, was it? I mean, it wasn't X-rated. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, what do you have going on next? Do you have any projects upcoming? Yeah, I got some movie coming out with Tom Hanks called The Green Mile. I got this one, and one with Johnny Depp and uh, Kate Blanchett, and Christina Ricci, John Turturro. Keeping pretty busy. Sally huh? Potter directed it. Girl at Dale Orlando. So, what's the main question everyone's been asking you concerning this film? Well, there's a bunch of kind of standard questions. I don't, I don't want to, you know, give you f uh, fuel for your interview. Well, I'm going to ask you anyway, probably. Okay. What, what, what brought you to this story? It was the emotion I felt from the script that did it for me. I fell in love with the story uh, emotionally, and I wanted to see uh, how film could get that emotion uh, that was in the script. Were you looking to do something different? No. Uh, in between films, you don't know what's going to come down the pike. And so you, you open up all the doors and see what happens. And this thing I read and I fell in love. And you've got to fall in love with the story and be true to the story. And that's, that's the way it is. Now, How did you kind of assemble your cast? I know that you work with a lot of the same people in some of your past films. But... Well, this was, um, you know, uh, Richard and Sissy and Harry Dean uh, uh, came from various parts of the country. But it pr uh, predominantly, everyone came from Minneapolis to Chicago because they're close. They understand the lay of the land. They understand the people that live in that area. And I'm telling you, some of the great actors are in Minneapolis and Chicago, and they did a great job. Is this the first film you've directed that you were not the screenwriter? Right I think it is, yeah. And how is that? That's fine. Ideas come uh, from the ether, they come from a book, or they come from scripts. I've only read, this is the fourth script I've read in my life that I liked. and. Um, but it's, it's still ideas, and you tune into those and true to, be true to those, and, and you go. How do you think uh, diehard David Lynch film fans are going to react to this film? You never know. When you do a film, you stay true to the story, and what comes after is out of your control. But it's um, uh, a story, hopefully, you know, people can relate to. And... Uh, so I, I think I, I think everything will be okay. Uh, do you have anything lined up next? No, I don't have a clue. <laughs> Are you a big David Lynch fan? I am a big David Lynch fan, and um, I always remember like the first time I saw Twin Peaks at the film festival and a lot of his movies. What are some of your other uh, favorite ones? Um, Wild at Heart and Blue Velvet, classic. Um, I, I think he's a great director, and I, I heard that this movie is really great. Um, a couple of my friends saw it 
and loved it, so I'm excited. Does it surprise you that he's doing this change into the G-rated genre? Uh, no, I think it's it's cool to do all kinds of different things. I'm sure it'll have his unique perspective. Now I hear you have also directed. Yeah, I just directed my first movie. It's called The Virgin Suicides. So, um, are you going to continue in that? You have more projects. I, I hope so. I loved it. Yeah, so it, it was really exciting. Hi, what well, drew you to this script? David Lynch. What else? Didn't it scare you? Oh, David Lynch, G, G movie. I, I didn't really, I didn't realize it was a G movie, and I was real relieved when I read the script. I thought, whoa, oh, this is good. <laughs> and how is it working with Richard Farnsworth, Harry Dean Stanton? Just, del he's delightful. He's a fabulous man. He never thinks about himself. He's always concerned about everybody else, which was great for me. And do you have any upcoming projects? Uh, not anything in the can yet, but I'm, I'm leaving in about a week to work on, on a film. All right, well, I won't keep you, but enjoy the movie. Thank you.